Hi, I'm Hayley from Birdwise North Kent and this is Jasper. And I'm Michael from Birdwise East Kent and this is Scout. And at Birdwise we love dogs. So our coastline is a really great place to come for a walk with your dog. And having a dog that is well behaved and under control means that your walk is more fun for you and for your dog and for other coastal users. So to help with that, we've got together with Mark Beeching, who's a dog behavioralist, and we've produced a short set of dog training videos that we really hope you and your dog will enjoy. One of the challenges of the Hill Command is that compared to many other obedience commands where your dog's in one place, this is a motion command. So there's more than one thing going on at once and more than one thing that we're asking the dog to think about. We're here with Hayley and Jasper. Hayley's got lots of treats ready, which is a really good way of keeping Jasper's attention. So as we move along with Jasper, hey, he's got our treats ready. If Jasper's in the right place, if he's kind of next to where you want him to be, he gets the command of heel and then he gets the treat delivered at the same time. So just start coming forward and then keep your treats low. And then if they're in the right place, then you can basically just keep that treat delivery forward. So they're not moving ahead of you. It's nice and calm and your hands and they are where you want them to be. That's very good. Remember with heel to have lots of treats with you ready to go because as you're moving forward, you can consistently keep those treats dropping into your dog's mouth as you give the appropriate command. Remember to walk at a normal pace if you walk too fast or too slow. That's the pace that your dog's gonna learn this command's linked in with. And also just remember that you can start this in a really nice, quiet environment. You might even wanna start it off the lead to start with and just walk along and lure the dog with your treats rather than having the lead there, which you then might naturally pull on. Keep consistent, stay patient, and you'll get it in no time. Some top tips for when we're training our dogs. Make sure you've always got your treats available. Find the thing that your dog works for best. Some dogs might work for toys, some dogs might work for food, some might just want your attention. So find the one that's best for you. Make sure that it's fun. Make sure that you kind of have a good positive state of mind. Start somewhere quiet and then gradually build up and really make sure that the relationship you've got with your dog in each training session is as positive and vibrant as possible. Keep your voice nice and up, make sure your body language is good and overall just enjoy yourself. Visiting the coast with our dogs is a great thing to do but it's also a really important habitat for birds. So it's important we give them room to roost, rest and recuperate when we're there. We hope that you've enjoyed these films and that they've helped you and your dog wise up to bird disturbance. Thank <laughs> you.